How cute is that? That is perfect. I love it. Hey guys, what's up? LD Charlotte here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. Last episode, we built that really cool enchanting tower that you can see in the background there. And it made me feel a little self-conscious about how my house looks. I've noticed that it's kind of plain looking and a lot of you guys have been saying that for a long time but now I see what you mean and I'm gonna do something about it. I'm going to decorate the in- What the heck lily pads? You can't escape that easily. I'm going to do something about this and do some redecorating in here. So as you can see I took down the shelf of flowers Wow! I took down the shelf of flowers because it was kind of glitchy, just like this one here, and it was really annoying. And I'm also gonna get rid of this shelf here. The shelves just make me sad looking at them and how glitchy they are. So first of all, taking off my flower crowns, I'm gonna actually adorn my temple with one of these. So I think we'll go for the exotic one, because I believe, I don't know why I believe, <laughs> but I do believe that that's the best one. <laughs> Which leaves us three spares. I think a good place to leave these would be like in a bedside cabinet. Which I can't do because apparently that's not a real chest. I'm going to put a chest here. And this, we're just going to pretend, is my wardrobe. Where I keep my clothes and my headbands. <laughs> very important. Two very important things, okay? Now we've also got a load of other weird stuff in here. Which, to be honest, is not at all necessary to be displayed on here, like these shells. I'm kind of bored of them now, they're not that weird anymore. I've seen weirder things. So I'm gonna take them down and just throw them in the corner over here. Ow, oh my gosh, what is wrong with you Fiji? Why are you so hostile today? I don't know what you want me to do. Stop. So for the rest of these things, some of them are actually pretty cool. This is a gas tear, my first gas tear. I made a gas cry and I kept the evidence. And this is a ghastly soul, which was pretty cool. That's just a pile of ashes that we don't actually want. So we'll just keep that in there. This is rotten flesh, which we also don't really want to keep lying around in the open because if anyone comes to visit, they're gonna think we're a little bit weird. We've got, I love this though, I love this moss. I don't know what to do with it. Let's see if I can craft anything with it. I can make mossy stone, yay, or a green dye. Okay, moss is not as interesting as I thought it was going to be. However, this bee definitely is. We can refill the apiary when our bee runs out. So I'm going to put an item frame on here and put the queen bee in it. So it kind of looks like she's flying around there. What the heck? The tree of transformation turned this whole area into an enchanted forest biome. Oh my gosh. Wow. I was not expecting that one, but it does look pretty cool. <gasps> that tree is so pretty. Wow. Anyway, back to business. <laughs> One of them is a fish, which we rescued from the mean villagers over in a hut over there. I think they were gonna kill it, maybe? This crab, I'm gonna test it out. Oh, <gasps> it spawned a crab. They killed it. They've got fish in here as well. I'm gonna protect it. I'm gonna save this fish. Oh, save it from you guys, you're cruel. And then finally, this firefly, which I'm going to craft a firefly jar from, just using a glass bottle and a firefly. And that should shed a little light on the situation. I'm just kidding, it, it should illuminate the area a little bit. Oh my gosh, oh no. Oh, I put the fish down and it died. I don't know how many buckets of water. Oh no, it died. Let's get this firefly jar on the go. There we go. And shall we pop it down? Let's just test it for now. <gasps> oh, that's cute. It doesn't seem to illuminate the area at all, but it's cute. Before we do anything else, I think we should honor the memory of that fish that I accidentally killed. I mean, it may not have been alive long enough for me to give it a name, but it was long enough to have a soul. And I killed that soul accidentally, but it's dead. Rest in peace, unnamed fish from the accidental death, okay? Nobody can blame me for that one. How was I to know what would happen? How was I to know what would happen to any of these completely accidental deaths? Anyway, where were we? It's my pet strawberry puff. I think we should probably keep him in the kitchen maybe and just hope that he doesn't get accidentally eaten, which I'm sure would never happen because, <laughs> okay, it might accidentally happen. 
Let's leave him high up here. He's safe up there, I'm sure. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a mod review on a mod called the Wallpaper Mod. And I'm going to be using that today to decorate my house, make it a little, little more sophisticated by crafting some of these wallpapers to go on my wall. Now that we've cleared this whole area here, I think it would be nice to have a big wallpaper art piece right here. And I think the best one would be the princess one, which I need pink dye and light blue dye for, and obviously paper, as you need for every wallpaper. So I've been farming sugarcane. I'm just gonna take some and make some paper. And then I'm going to get my dye from in my barn. Oh, hang on. Maybe these flowers will yield some, ah. Oh. We've got plenty of paper, and there's the dye. Oh, it gives us 12 pieces of wallpaper. That's more than we need. I'm gonna start placing it on the wall down here. And then it should all come together to make a nice pattern. <gasps> what do you think? I think it looks amazing. Once I've removed the chests, of course, it will look amazing. We're gonna keep the wall of weird stuff over here and we're gonna use item frames to display things, but to make it really pop, we're gonna use some wallpaper. And I think the perfect wallpaper would be this harvest wallpaper, which uses lapis and magenta dye. Luckily, we got some lapis here and we can get some magenta dye by breaking some flowers that are magenta colored. Which ones are that? These ones are magenta. Yes, perfect. So all we need to do is find some of those flowers around. We only need like one batch of this. Why am I gathering all the flowers, hmm? So we use the paper, we use the lapis, and we use the magenta dye, and we have some little cute wallpaper. I'm gonna pop this on the wall. There we go. And we've run out already. I should have made two lots. There we go. And we've got some spare. There we go. Nice. Cool, and then we can just put some item frames on it like this. <gasps> that looks so cool! Ow! This is gonna look cool if lily pads would stop hitting me! So I'm gonna put my ghastly soul and my gas tier on here for now. We don't really have that much weird stuff to be honest. I put the firefly jar on here. I'm so sad that it doesn't make any light because it's actually way too dark in here now. This wall is really empty. <gasps> I know what we need. Fairy lights! Where are my fairy lights? Where can we put these babies? We can just put them anywhere, really. Oh, so cute! They'll go anywhere and they'll look amazing. Look at that, that's so cool! Put them around the reading corner. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Hmm, I think we should get rid of this purple carpet here and we should do some more carpet around the house because I do like carpet. However, this purple doesn't really match the theme anymore. I think we should have some pink carpet in front of here instead to match the pink in this. So let's grab my shears and we shall go die and nakedify our sheep. Wait, what the heck? How did that sheep get out of the pen and into the pig pen? I wanna get some pink wool. Well, that didn't work out. There we go. Give me your wool. What the heck? How dare you? I'm gonna try to share it from over here. Come on, man. I think we have a problem. This is just an unshareable sheep. He shall not be sheared. Well, two pink wool is fine anyway. I didn't need any more than that. So the pink wool is gonna go here, and the white wool is gonna go here, and the black will go in between, like so. We just need more black wool to complete the look and we have a little cute kitchen area how adorable is that i'd say the kitchen's pretty complete now there we go that's nice and pink that looks cute i like it i think a blue carpet would look good here so let's do that in the morning when we wake up hopefully all of the sheep have regrown their fur by now or should i say wool we'll just use this lapis to dye them Magical colors. Oh, there's already one in here. Thank you. And I'll need another volunteer. How about you, sheep that shall not be sheared? Okay, you shall not be colored either, apparently. All right, now we've got plenty of carpet. Let's do a little trail of rug down here. Ah, see what I've done there is that uh, I've made some floating rugs. Oh, actually, to get a little more light in here, we can put some torches underneath the rug because the light will shine through. As you can see, 
Well, you can't tell because it's daytime, but I promise you. Okay, hopefully that means we won't be coming home to any more surprise skeletons. So I still think that this place looks a little bit plain. I think we need to add some paintings. Luckily, I was able to edit a texture pack so that we can actually have some nice paintings instead of the really awful vanilla paintings. So now all we need is some paintings. How do you make a painting? How could I forget this? Oh, it's wool and sticks. Hmm. I'm gonna make as many as we can, which happens to be at five, so that we can really make this place look different. So I customized some of the paintings to look like Adventure Time characters, and I think these would look cool in this area here. So my trick to getting the right size paintings is to surround the area with blocks, leaving a one block space. That way only a one block wide painting can spawn. So there's the first one. There we go, we've got the whole gang. And now let's place the final paintings. So I installed a mod so that I would be able to get the right painting. So I'm gonna pop this here. This is not the right painting that I wanted. However, I can then select from this menu, the one that I really want, which is this cute little map here. How adorable is that on my wall? I like it. I'm gonna put a couple of tables right here and I'm gonna get maybe a fishbowl for one of them and I think just put a torch on here for now. Oh, these cats are so annoying. All they do is meow and eat food all day. We've still got one more painting though, so I'm gonna put it up here in my room on this big open space here. Let's customize it to oh, this huge Totoro poster. How cute is that? That is perfect. I love it. Wow, I didn't realize we already had two fish and I didn't realize they were like identical. Whoopsie. Oh well, let's get one more and we'll put it on here. So, oh, we've got tons of fish balls. Maybe we could even get two fish. Let's do it. <gasps> There's one. Get in my bowl. Oh, there's a green fish. Get in the bowl. Now I've got two fish that we never had before. So I'm gonna put one over here, right beside the door. Ta-da! And where should I put this one? Let's see, is my room missing a fish bowl? Well, there's already a fish in here. Did not know that. Oh! What? Where can we put a fish bowl? Maybe we can fit one here. Would this be an odd place for a fish bowl? Yes, yes it would be. A floating fish bowl. How about on the patio? Nice outdoor fish bowl. And the final thing that I wanna to do today is to add some of the lovely flower vines that we used. Oh no, I really need to be careful of that. Some of the lovely flower vines that we also used on here, they come in a bunch of different colors. We could use any of these or a combination. I think maybe some more pink or maybe purple or blue would look cool. So we're just gonna go on a little flower collecting mission. However, I think I'm gonna leave this area untouched because I don't wanna use all the flowers from here. So we'll just venture over here to go find some new flowers. All right, let's grab these ones. These should give us some blue vines. And then these violets should give us some purple vines. I love the way these look, they're so cute. Okay, I think we have everything now. Let's head back to my crazy looking area that I call home. We should have a crafting table out here because you never know when you're gonna need to do some outdoor crafting. In fact, I think it would be a good idea if we could put it in the corner here and then put the fishbowl on top of it. Ah, that didn't quite work out exactly how I wanted it to. There we go, that looks good, I like it. We'll just make some flower, oh yes, perfect. Make them all. We've got some purple vines. Oh, these don't make anything. Sad face. We'll just have to plant them around, but these should make some blue ones. Yes. So let's just plant some of these. Oh, we already have a bunch of them. You can tell which one's my favorite flower. I think they would look really pretty over here under the tree of transformation. We'll just replace these vanilla flowers with these lovely violets. Look how cute the cactus is in this texture pack. Ah, oh, I love it. I'm gonna plant some more. They're so sweet. I think we should get a little flower pot and put cactus in it. I think that would look nice. Very nice. But now let's uh, plant these vines on my house. I think this is gonna make our whole house just look so much nicer now that it's all covered in flowers. Here in Shadowcraft, we are very in touch with nature, as you can see. Look at that, it's overgrown. I think we should craft a lava lamp to replace the torch over there. So we need some red, green, and blue. So we have one light pink lava lamp. I just think that these look cooler than torches. <gasps> so pretty! And it goes right next to the pink map too. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shadowcraft. If you did, please make sure to leave a like if you'd like to see more episodes. Let me know what I should do with lily pads in Fiji because they're really annoying me at the moment. I'm seriously considering sending them off in a hot air balloon or something. Ow! Why? What? <laughs> what was that? I think it was a slime with a creeper hat. Okay, this is where we'll find everything we need. What is what is this room? I used a miner's dream. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. Some of these are actually real.